Hello everyone, it's Tori. Thanks for joining me again for another scrapbooking process video. This one is called The Sound of Music. And I am using the Studio Calico Circuit. I'm using this pink paper from the main scrapbooking kit. And it is called Make-A-Wish. I'm using this XOXO paper from We Are Memory Keepers. And I think it's called XOXO. And I'm also using a piece of white basil cardstock. And I'm going to begin by mounting my star paper on some white piece of paper. And what you're seeing now is I'm going to just trim off the branding strips and also cut out the core of the white basil paper just because I want to um, be able to use it again. I don't like wasting anything. When I saw this pink paper with the stars in the corner, I just, oh, I was so excited. I love this paper. I love the color, I love the stars, and I knew that I wanted to use it in a really special way on a special layout. So I have these three photos of my sister watching The Sound of Music on television, and those are the photos that I'm going to be using today. Now, first I thought I would just take off a quarter of an inch off of each side, but I accidentally cut it crooked, so I had to cut it again, and I ended up taking off more. I I think I have about a half inch all the way around, but that's okay. It still works out well. And like any good process video, I run out of adhesive. So I'm going to use this new package of Express It double-sided tape. I'll link it up below. This is my favorite adhesive and it's so quick to use. So I just am laying it all over and then I'll adhere this paper down. And just while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pictures. In December 2013, Carrie Underwood did a live Sound of Musical, um, a live Sound of Music musical on NBC on television. And a bunch of my friends and I went and we watched it together. And my little sister Courtney was with us. And we realized that it was her first time ever seeing The Sound of Music, and she just absolutely loved it. It was so precious. I think everybody else was comparing the original to the Carrie Underwood like live version on TV. My sister just enjoying the story, and she loved every minute of it. It was so precious. And you can sort of see the pictures a little bit. You can see her reaction, and she was just so cute that I had to just snap some photos of her and document it. And this is only three of the photos. I actually have like probably 20 photos of her adorable reactions. But I decided to just stick with three. And what I'm going to do now is I printed those photos off with my Canon selfie. And I just used the random format function. I don't know what it's called exactly. And so it chose the sizes. But I love the sizes that it chose. And it had a black out outline on it and I just wanted the white so I was trimming off the black outline and then I ended up putting it back on a black outline with that XOXO paper and you're gonna see me struggling for a long time here trying to decide where to um, put my photos on the page and then finally I decided this big photo needed something different so I'm just gonna mount it on some white cardstock just to add a little more definition to that that bigger photo and I think I struggled with where to put it because all, in all three of the photos she was facing the TV. So I need the photos to face in towards the picture because I don't really like it when people are facing off the page. So I was trying to get her to face in towards those stars. And I think where I have them right now is the end outcome that I decide to go with. And while I'm trying to decide how to lay my photos, I decided to use this trim that came in the circ card kit and it's black sort of a scallop and I'm just going to begin by hot gluing it to the bottom of the page little by little and after I am finished the bottom I'm going to do the exact same thing to the top of the page and when I get to the top of the page I realize that this trim is self-adhesive it has a brown backing that you can pull off and it's sticky which I had no clue. 
I did the exact same thing for the blue trim I received last month. I glued it down um, when I probably could have just pulled out the backing and made my life 100% easier. But <laughs> So if you haven't used this trim yet and you have it, pull the backing off. It'll be a lot easier to stick down. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. But whatever, the hot glue gun worked well too. It was just slower. And in the end, I'm just going to add one strip of that black trim to the top and one to the bottom. And I love the way that that just sort of frames the page. And I think it sort of fits with the color themes that I'm going on here. On this page, I'm going to stick mostly to the white, black, and pink. And then I am going to use sort of a gray alpha too. But other than that, those are pretty much the colors that I'm going to use for this page. I thought about using those wood veneer hearts, but I just didn't feel like they fit. And there was also already stars on the page, so I didn't want to introduce a new um, image, like hearts and stars. I mean, they do go together. I just didn't want to introduce something new. And after I hot glue my photos down, I'm going to try to figure out how to embellish the page. Again, I grab that black um, tag and try to make that work, but I don't like it. It's too big. And now I'm adding my favorite little touch to the page. Um, I am grabbing my clear Wink of Stella pen and painting on some sparkles on some of the stars just to bring some added definition and really make those stars pop. I was holding it up to the camera because I was hoping you'd be able to see it, but I think it's probably pretty hard to see. You can see it a little fleck, but not really. Um, anyways, my next added embellishment are going to be these little tiny black stars. They are sequins that came from the Project Life kit, and I thought, thought they would work well since they are stars on the page, and then this is just bringing that black color over as well. But I decided I'm going to wait to put those down until after I've put my title. And my title is going to use these um, light gray alphas. They came from the Flying Trapeze um, add-on this month. And they are from the Serendipity line by Dear Lizzie and American Crafts. And I think they are called Soar. And I absolutely love the color and I absolutely love the size and the font. It is working so well. So I thought about just sticking them down, but then I decided I wanted to figure out where I was going to put them. So I just grabbed some wax paper and put the words out on the wax paper. Then I can rearrange them, and once I know where I want them, then I can stick them down. And this is a technique that I've seen a lot of people use. The first person I saw use it was Nicole Jones, 911. Um, but I know a lot of other people on YouTube also use this trick and it works so well especially when I have really long titles like this and especially when I'm going to use titles that are going to take up a large space on the page. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because this took me a really long time to do but the title I decided to go with on this page is My Heart Will Be Blessed With The Sound Of Music which is a quote from one of the songs in the movie, The Sound of Music. So I thought that that was sort of um, apropos. <laughs> That's your new word for the day. That just means very fitting. <laughs> so I couldn't think of any other phrase, but whatever, it works. So um, I thought that the title, My Heart Would Be Blessed with the Sound of Music, sort of fit two ways. Like that's a quote from the movie that we're watching, but also like my heart is feeling blessed because I get to watch my sister watch this movie for the first time, which is super sweet. And I love using large titles on my pages. This is just something that I really enjoy doing. And if you've watched any of my other process videos or checked out any of my other projects, you'll know that I really enjoy doing that. I feel like it fills that big space on the right hand side as well and it sort of um, draws your attention to what the main theme or purpose of this page is which is that my heart is blessed and the sound music part so I'm going to lay those all down and it did take me a little while but I love the way that it ends up in the end um, when I was done I really wanted to try to find a way to 
make them stand out a little bit. So I grabbed one of my Copic markers. I'll just grab it here. I grabbed R32 Peach and I just outlined all of the letters on the page. I took a little break from that to add the hearts that were on Alpha set to the photo section. Now, if I were to redo this page, to be honest, I probably would switch this. I would put the photos on top of the star part and I would put the title on top of that clear pink section. But, you know, you can't really always do that. So I'll just stick with it. And maybe somebody will learn something from this. So if you are planning on doing a similar page, maybe try switching it up and do the opposite. I think it would look nice. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to add some final touches. I thought about adding some more embellishments to the page, but I sort of liked how simple it was. So from there, I'm just going to add my journaling and my date stamp, which I love stamping the page with my date. I'm using Black Stays On Ink and a Dear Lizzie date stamp, and I'm just stamping the date on the top. And then I'm going to add my journaling along that left-hand side, um, of the photos and then down the page. And that's basically it. The page is done. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!